Nice. All right, ready, Diana? Okay, come do your thing, please. Everybody welcome Miss Diana to some Young Living. Just gonna introduce and, and talk. And so, yeah, about, about 45 minutes, just take your time, it's okay. Okay. My husband's an average teacher, so you know what it means when you look at this clock? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Diana. Uh, I've been patient with Dr. Joe, uh, my husband and I, for uh, it'll be 10 years this coming January. We came, I was 29 years old. Uh, we were having some... Thank you. Uh, we were having some definite health issues and we were concerned because we thought we might have to retire a little bit early and that's not what we wanted to do. So a friend of ours asked us to come and see Dr. Joe. Uh, we went to a weight loss clinic that you had. Oh gosh, over it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was in January and we listened and it just made sense. Everything that he said just kind of clicked with us. So we decided to give it a try. So uh, we came in, we got our x-rays, we got uh, looked at, we uh, talked with Dr. Joe, we began to tell him some of the things that were going on in our life. And um, he wasn't just here to adjust us, he does so much more. We got way more than we thought we were getting when we started to be his patient. And um, so we learned about food and we learned about toxins and we learned about how to do shopping and how to switch out bad stuff and eat good things that would help our life. Uh, we learned about supplements. We learned about a lot of things. And um, I'm just here to encourage you. I'm glad you're here tonight. I'm glad that you're gonna listen to what he has to say because he is my doctor. I go to a doctor to get my blood tests and then I bring everything to him. Whatever he says we do, that's what my husband and I do. My husband's lost over 104 pounds. I've lost over 40, kept it off. Thank you very much. Uh, my husband, used, he's two inches taller, not because he grew, but because he's standing up straight and his spine is where it belongs. All right, I was um, coming from a VA. I was on 12 different medications and then two more for the side effects that were going on with the medications. I'm off all of that. So our lives have really, really changed for the better. And I, our, we have a little church and um, I think all but three people in our church come here. And the ones, the ones who don't are always complain about how they feel. So I want you to know your life can change and he really does check out everything on himself and his family before he tells us what to do. And I've seen his kids grow up in the last 10 years. So it's just been really good. So, um, I do sell Young Living, but what I want to talk to you about tonight, if you come back to visit with me, is how to detox your home, how to get all those chemicals out of your home, and, and you'll feel better. It made a big difference for Gary and I when I got them out of our home. We could tell the difference within just a few weeks. So I present Dr. Joe. Yay! Thank you. This is the tiny, world's tiniest little microphone. Thank you. All right. I hope you all can hear me okay now. Very good. The other day we were doing our workout and I had the microphone on and all of a sudden my audio book came on. I'm like, ah. And I said, God, is that you? You sure sound like Tim Kennedy, but it's not. So, all right. Say Yahoo if you're excited. We're going to have fun. Talk about metabolism. And what does that mean? And we're going to go all around the world and back a few times. And so today's workshop is all called Metabolism. That's me, Dr. Joe Arve, along with my lovely wife, Eileen. We've been in this very location for 30 years. Say Yahoo. Amen. Every day. And again, just so you know, I'm not just some schmuck sitting up here, you know, some chiropractor. Actually, if you compare the number of hours, like my son Luke is going through chiropractic college right now, and, and my daughter May went through chiropractic college, that when you look at the medical profession, nothing against them, but their education is completely specific for what they do, right? My education is completely specific for basically how to get the body healing. Their education is what to do if you're broken and how to get you back together as fast as possible so you don't die. My education is how to keep you healthy and strong so your body can heal and be amazing. And as far as just hours go, 
I have over 4,485 hours coming out of school. My medical brothers and sisters have only 4,250 hours. Now, tack on to that 30 years of raising four amazing children, 33, almost 34 years of marriage. And so when I talk about what I'm talking about, I know what I'm talking about, okay? Because I'm just like you. I wanted to learn more about my metabolism because I'm the guy where everything I teach usually doesn't work for me, but it works for everybody else. That, so I've always been on this constant journey about metabolism. And that's my lovely family. That's my lovely bride right there, 28 years old. Uh, our kids are, are 33, 28, 21, and 28 there, or actually 30. Um, and so that's my family. Everything that I'm going to teach you today is what I we, we raise them up with. So it's been tested. It, it, it works. And it's all about metabolism. Everybody say metabolism. And again, I've been here a long time. Don't let the man bun fool you, okay? We've gone over a half a million safe and effective adjustments. If, so if you're looking for a safe and organic and natural way to change your metabolism, which therefore change your life, to, to boost your endocrine system, to have a stronger spirit, a stronger soul, a stronger body, I'm your man. This is your place, okay? And there's only, but, but the way we do that is very unique and very different than maybe what you're seeing out there on social media. And again, at any time, sorry, you can text, you have questions for me or you want to make an appointment at any time. You say, wow, that guy looks really cool. I like his shirt, cool man bun. 303-457-8080, uh, okay? So anytime, and the Joe bot will get you there. And at any time, while we're still on the internet, they haven't kicked us off yet, um, you can go to our YouTube channel, Spine Geek. Just Google Spine Geek, and you'll find us, and you'll have all kinds of information there to get strong and stay strong. I am so proud to introduce our podcast called Nature Makes the Rules. Everybody give a hand. It's Mr. Garvey and I basically just getting historical and hysterical me about just what we've done the last 33 plus years to raise an amazing family. And so, but the bottom line is that don't, if anything I say today steps on your toes, it's not on purpose. Okay. But here's the thing. Nature makes the rules. Nature makes the rules. Jesse, I'm getting feedback. Make sure you can, they can hear me. Okay. Nature makes the rules. And so let's jump into metabolism. What in the world is metabolism? Well, first of all, you understand who you are as a spirit, as a soul, as a body. That's who you are. So as far as metabolism goes, what's your spiritual metabolism? What are you feeding your spirit with? Hmm, we'll get to that. Is your spirit weak or is your spirit strong? Because it makes a difference as far as the other two. What's your soul? What's your soul metabolism like? And that would be your, your mind, your emotions, your will. What are you feeding that? Are you feeding that daily to make it weak? Or you are you feeding it daily to make it strong? And you say, well, I don't, I don't know. Well, that's what we want you to find out today. And then obviously the body part, right? What are we doing? We only have 24 hours. So what are we doing with that? And how do we know what we're doing with that? And are we intentional with that to make sure that we're making our body stronger one day at a time and not weaker by not paying attention? And so metabolism, people may say, well, I have a slow metabolism. Yeah, me too. Or I have a fast metabolism, my wife. But that really doesn't mean anything's wrong. That's just how God made you. When it comes to metabolism, I want you to think about, is my metabolism weak or is it strong? That's really what it's all about. It doesn't matter if it's slow. It doesn't matter if it's fast. God made you uniquely who you are. And so metabolism is about the food I put in my body, how my body digests it, and then the energy that's created. I'm either going to have good energy to go about my day, or I'm going to have no energy to go about my day. It depends on, though, the food that I put in my mouth or whatever I put in my mouth, how my body accepts it, and then what my body does with it. That's what metabolism is. Okay? I have wood. I have oxygen. I have a wood-burning stove. And I want to keep the temperature in this room 100 degrees. Oh, okay, 70 degrees. Okay, 65 degrees, really. <laughs> 65 degrees, right? So if I want the room, if the goal is to keep the room at 65 degrees consistently, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 
365 days of the year for age until heaven, a, a zero to or born till heaven, then I have to always keep an eye on the wood that I'm burning. How much oxygen do I allow the, the stove, the furnace to have? Too much blows it out, not enough smothers it. And then here's the tricky part you don't may not understand. The stove changes every year. The stove is not the same as it was when you're in your 20s and your 30s and your 40s and your 50s and your 60s. So you got to be constantly looking at what wood can I use and not use anymore? How do I need to move and oxygenate my body? Because life demands I keep the room at 65 degrees constant. Okay. So that's what metabolism really is, is knowing, okay, the furnace ain't what she used to be. Oh no, I'm just, just no, let's go back and relook at the wood you're using, the oxygen that you're using, because life, if you want to have a great life, you want to keep the room at 65 degrees, okay? So that bottom line. So you better make sure that you're using good wood, not bad wood. Make sure that your digestion is working strong, not weak. That'd be oxygen, exercise, okay? And you got to make sure that the energy you're putting out every day allows you to be the person you are. Spiritually, physically, soul, body, soul, and spirit. Because you're here for a purpose. You're here for a reason. God has a plan for you. And here's the kicker. Again, I don't make any of these rules. I'm just trying to learn how to live by him, okay? That your metabolism never stops. Everybody say never stops. Never stops. This thing never stops. It requires 65 degree weather, 24-7, 365. 24-7, 365. We really don't get a day off. And each day you're either making the room too hot or the room too cold or the room just right. That's the goal. If we can figure out a way to live, to make ourselves strong, to make the room just right, then we're good to go. And that's what I hope you'll leave here with. Because I'm going to tell you about what can make things throw off the three T's, trauma, toxins, and stress, thinking, thinking, that caused the room to go crazy, right? And so here's, here's the story. If I take grass seed and I put it in the ground, right? And I water that grass seed, what's that grass seed gonna grow into? Green what? Green grass, okay? The sooner you answer, the faster you get to enjoy your treats. It's okay, okay. So that's how it's supposed to be. Now, the seed is programmed with everything that the grass needs to be strong and healthy. A perfect metabolism is already in the seed. I just need to water the grass. Okay? Now, let's say something comes along. I have a really stressful season in my life, and that begins to kink the hose. Okay? Or I just eat a bunch of stuff that even isn't food, like Halloween candy or eat a bunch of uh, Diet Coke or Dr. Pepper or baby formula or, or whatever. I go get a flu shot or I take antibiotics. That causes interference to the grass seed as well. And then let's say that, that uh, either trauma or toxins, or let's say the doctor pulls too hard on my neck when I'm coming out of the womb. Let's say I fall down the flight of stairs. Let's say I sit all day on the computer. That has an interfering effect on my brain-body connection as well. So when it comes to our body and our metabolism, the brain tells the body everything. And it needs no help keeping your metabolism strong. It just can't have any interference. You're going to learn how people, their metabolism goes from strong to weak to very weak silently. And you don't even know what's going on. So to say it can silently hurt you is a very fair statement. That stress can silently hurt you and you don't know it. Trauma to your spine and nerve system can silently be hurting you. You may not realize it because you wait until you feel bad. Ah, it's too late. Toxins that we're going to talk about, dog poop in your brownies, can silently kill you, but you don't know about it because you're just tapping in one bite at a time. You notice maybe the scale's getting going the wrong direction. Your clothes are getting a little tighter. You don't have the energy. You're like, wow, well, must be getting old. No, there's things that are deliberately being done to you, <clears throat> and you don't realize it. So metaphorically, I want to set you free today and show you how to get strong. And Because if we turn that water back onto that grass seed, that dead grass or that brown grass, that very weak metabolism or that weak metabolism can go back to what? Green grass strong. Make sense so far? Okay, good. Good, good, good. That's really what it's all about. And so you had the sheet in your hand. 
But this is what I want for you. I want you to leave here knowing what to do to make your metabolism green grass strong. What does that mean? Okay, that means you have the ability inside you to have plenty of energy, healthy hormones, normal appetite. You feel strong. You want to be intimate. I had no other way to write that in a PG or G way, okay? You have good cycles. You're in a good mood. You have peaceful life. You have strong, thick hair. You have thick nails, strong nails. You sleep well. You're able to get pregnant if you want to. You've, you're fun to be around, and you're healthy at a healthy, ideal weight. This is the goal. This is normal. This is green grass strong. You are created with the power and the ability for this to happen. But the problem is that life can come in, stress, toxins, trauma to the nerve system, and now your metabolism goes weak. Now you have fatigue. Maybe thyroid issues are creeping in. Suppressed appetite, cold hands, cold feet, a low libido, PMS issues and bloating, anxiety, hair loss, brittle nails, irritability, overweight, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, on one or more medications. Again, that's maybe calm, but it's not normal. You don't have to be there if you don't want to. Something's happened to you one day at a time to make you weak. And so there's your symptoms. And if we don't turn it around and make and get strong, your body will naturally keep getting weak. And that's a very weak metabolism where now the doctor says you have heart disease, obesity, diabetes, autoimmune disease, thyroid dysfunction, polycystic ovarian syndrome, infertility, Cushing's disease, <clears throat> cancer, fatty liver disease, arthritis, chronic pain, insomnia, and on four more medications. This may be common, but it's not normal. It doesn't have to happen. And me and my wife and our family have spent the last 30 years trying to take people that are here and trying to get them strong so they can live here where God promises. That's what I want for you. Okay, that's what it's all about. And again, if you don't like the green grass story, ha ha, how about the toxic bucket theory of health and disease? You can't avoid stress. You can't avoid the toxins. You can't avoid sitting down, right? But it doesn't have to have a negative effect on you. Your bucket doesn't have to get so full that you start exhibiting symptoms of a weak metabolism. But if you stay there, then your body has to begin to interfere and things begin to shut down and your bucket begins to fill up more, and you become more toxic, spiritually, soul, body, and now you are building disease regardless of how you feel. And then eventually one day you wake up, usually around your 40th birthday maybe, or 30th or 60th, I don't know, and now you're like, wow, where'd this happen? I just felt fine yesterday, and now I've got chronic stress, I've got way too much processed foods in my life, overuse of antibiotics, I have disease processed, I have environmental toxins. I have way too many um, Advil and Tylenol in my system. And I have sensitive all kinds of foods. And now I have a very weak metabolism. It's the same process. Interference along with the three T's, toxins, trauma, sick, and thinking over time, if we're not smart and not getting strong every day, then it fills up our buckets when we have problems, okay? We have problems. And so at the end, I'm gonna give you the magic pill. Ha ha, I'm gonna give you the secret to get strong so that you can detox your buckets and get back to green grass strong metabolism. Because again, insulin is tied to all of this. Insulin, if your insulin's good, then you don't have inflammation. If insulin is out of whack, then you have lots of inflammation and pain. The same thing with liver, blood pressure, cholesterol, the way your brain talks to your body, the way your skin looks, estrogen in men, testosterone in females, and making sure it's at normal balances, it's all tied to your metabolism. And then there's a lot of people who deal with adrenal fatigue, thyroid issues, liver issues, gut issues, and it's all tied to your metabolism. It's all tied to your metabolism. Your adrenals, elevated stress. Stress hormone levels suppress the, the thyroid. Then stress, why? The stress hormones are like thyroid, both black like gas pedals. Your body doesn't want to run out of gas, so it shuts the thyroid down. As responding, it's going weak because of the environment you're living in. Your adrenals go weak because there's interference, not because God made them wrong, but then your thyroid goes bad or gets sluggish. So decreased thyroid function slows liver detox. That's why you have liver detox 
liver natural vitamin in your nutrition pack right there is your gift from me to you. Because the thing is, is that if I can get you flushing your liver by actually taking liver, that's going to get everything going like it's supposed to. But the thyroid then and liver, liver detoxes is slow. Now the gut function declines. So now your gut gets grumpy. Why? Because proper detox prevents toxic material from being dumped into the gut. And as detox slows, more toxic stuff enters the gut. And there's your irritable bowel syndrome we talked about back in uh, September. So go back to September's class. You'll see all of that. But then your gut, as gut function declines, adrenals function increases, the adrenals freak out. You start to shut down. Why? Inflammation from a toxic gut triggers fight or flight. Ah! Response in the body. The adrenals respond with adrenaline. Again, your metabolism runs all of that. And I know it's kind of heady and kind of technical, but I wanted to get that because that's why we're going to our doctor. We're going to nutrient. We're going around because we're trying to fix these things. And I'm going to show you how to make them strong so they don't work like that anymore. So what's the problem? The problem is that there appears to be a problem with us having weak metabolism. That's the problem. So metabolism mistakes can be focusing on what calories you're eating and not how you're feeling as you eat it. Mistake number two can be consuming not enough micronutrients. Some of you just don't eat enough protein. That's the problem. And you don't lift enough weight. That's why metabolism can be shutting down and going weak on you. Consuming too many anti-nutrients, meaning that you're eating formula, not food. Okay. A thirst for hunger, confusing for hunger. Right? You're like, oh, I'm really, you're not hungry. You're just thirsty. It's 10 o'clock at night. And you swear your body wants Ben and Jerry's. Guess what? I promise you, it doesn't want Ben and Jerry's. And maybe we're eating too often. And I'll get into that in just a minute as well. Okay? So those are some mistakes. Whether it's not your fault, I mean, you're not a bad person. You're just following what everybody else is saying to do. And that's where it's at. So unfortunately, obesity continues to rise due to what? Yeah. It's my genes, Dr. Joe. My Jordash or my Levi. Hmm. All right. I got excited. I'm I'm in top. So, but here's the issue. If our metabolism goes weak, it makes our body gain weight. If we get to a certain level of being overweight, that's called obesity. Here's the thing though. Toxins, trauma, interference is making things weak. You think whatever, but that's why gout and infertility and sleep apnea, quality of life, arthritis, gallstones, coronary heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and blood pressure is happening to you. Just like brown grass. It's brown grass. Shouldn't be there. Something's wrong. This is maybe common in our country, but it's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> here we go here we go okay so now stress though what can make you gain more weight than you'd like to stress stress weight okay it called general anxiety disorder gad symptoms you become relentless increased muscle aches and soreness fatigue irritability impaired concentration difficulty sleeping Excessive, excessive anxiety. Again, this is a metabolism issue because spirit, soul, body is getting weak, weak, and, weak emotionally, and emotionally, you're not you're as not strong as you want to be. Okay, so we need to get strong to overcome this. And again, how do you do it to yourself? Again, how do you and someone you know have anxiety issues because you avoid people or environments, digestive issues. You keep needing constant reassurance more than usual if you do the dishes. <laughs> insomnia she's like that's him yeah trouble breathing insomnia trouble concentrating always worrying headaches lack of patience again these are signs that your metabolism is going weak you think you have anxiety but there's a deeper reading reason panic attacks procrastination rapid heartbeat overthinking okay you got me on that one <laughs> overthinking sweating memory issues what's their name again okay we need to get strong so we can overcome this. We don't need a medication to become more toxic. And again, we have a metabol metabolism problem. If this is you or your child or your husband, 
for your dog, we have a metabolism problem. And again, if this is us at one time, 5, 10, 15, 20 years old, and over the years this happened to us, it's not aging, it's a metabolism problem. Men, you don't need more testosterone, you don't need more medication, you have a metabolism problem. And when I say it's time to get strong, I want everything working strong for you. And again, 88% of Americans are suffering from some metabolic disease and they don't even know it. That's the problem. <clears throat> and again, here's the thing. I really want to spend the rest of my life making strong children because strong children will create strong adults. Some days fixing broken adults isn't half as fun as it is saving children. And the metabolism issues that we have start the day you're born. Actually, even before that, when you're in the womb, based on what your mother, your grandmother, and your great mother have done three generations with these toxicities. And so right now in America, one out of three children are overweight. One in six children have learning disabilities. One in nine children have asthma. One in 10 have ADHD. One in 12 children have food allergies. One in 20 suffer from seizures. One in 50 have autism. And again, they weren't born this way. They live in a world that's trauma during the birth process, toxins during, during medications for all this, and then, and then stress because whatever's going on in their life they see on TV. Again, we have a metabolism problem with our children. People can't get in the military anymore because they can't even pass basic boot camp. Why? They have a metabolism problem. And what happened to little Debbie over the last 40, 50, 60 years? I love this slide. It speaks. So every talk you say, oh, there's little Debbie again. There's green grass and there's little Debbie, right? She has a metabolism problem. That's the problem. God didn't make her this way. And so what I'm going to tell you in a little bit is how to boost your metabolism, make it strong. So this happens to you. It happens to you, your pets, your family, your children, everyone in your children, everyone in your family deserve this. And again, tons of books written. They know it's a problem. Cracking the metabolic code, the obsidogen ups effect. We eat less, work out more, but yet we still struggle to lose weight. Fat chance, beating the odds against sugar, processed foods, obesity, and disease. The toxin solution, how hidden poisons in the air, water, and food, and products we use are destroying our health. It's things we use and touch every day. Again, you got to use them, but you got to know how much to use them. And you got to get strong so that as you use them, they don't make you weak. Evidence of harm, mercury and vaccines, and the autism epidemic. Again, toxicity. I'm not against vaccines as a political reason. I'm against putting toxins in a person and thinking that's going to be better than, not, than, than, than whatever God gave us, okay? It's a metabolism issue. Keep the trauma down. Keep the stress down. Keep the toxins out. And your body will be just fine and you'll have a great metabolism. You'll look and feel strong. You'll have a strong metabolism. But keep every year injecting toxins and poisons, and that's why we get what we get, no matter what age. And again, thimerosal, another word for mercury. Let the science speak, evidence supporting immediate removal of mercury and no neuro, neurotoxin, nerve toxin. Again, the thing about these toxins, I could talk all day. Again, this, 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 these slides, I had over 375 slides. I was ready to go into the deep state and everything with you all. But we'd be here for a whole week, and I didn't want to go there. But it's true. It's there. But the thing is, is that it's a toxic issue. It's a toxic issue. Survival of the sickest, surprising connections between disease and longevity. The dental the diet. Again, they talk about how we put mercury in our mouth as fillings, and that has a slow weakening effect on our body, on our mind. And then this book here, Sexy Brain, how sizzling intimacy and balance hormones to prevent Alzheimer's, cancer, and depression, and divorce, okay? Never be lonely again. Just <laughs> and then again, they wrote about the metabolic approach to cancer. Yes, if your metabolism gets so weak, now your body starts making cancer as a side effect. Heavy metals in baby food. Learn about how the dangers of processed commercially baby food and how to avoid toxins in your baby food. So yes, at the end, I'm going to fully expect that starting tomorrow, you're bringing everyone in your house. I don't care how old they are. I don't care how what they say. If they have a nerve system, they're toxic. And they need to start getting detoxed. They're stressed out. And they need a doctor that's going to help them get healthy and strong. And so I'll be, I mean, this, this metabolism workshop gives me permission to expect everyone in the city in this office every single day. 
Well, not every day, but you know what I mean. Because we got to get them strong. Because if not, if we don't get them strong, they stir his heart. Heck, and he gets get strong in here, out there. Out there is weakness. In here is getting strong, getting fired up. In this other book, sicker, fatter, and poor. Right? Oh, there's a good one. Urgent threat of hormone disrupting chemicals on our health and future, and what we can do about it. Again, don't get depressed. What you can do about it. I'm just painting the picture that it, this is everywhere. It's common, but it's not normal. And then again, estrogen generation, how estrogenic, I mean, estrogen toxins, poisons are making you fat, sick, and infertile. And I don't mean the word FAT as a slam. That's just what their words are, right? Okay. So what's causing all this though? We, now we know what the problem is, that we live in a world where if we don't know how to protect ourselves, our metabolism will just go weak the longer we spend time on this planet. And it's not just us as adults, because we were all children at one time. I was born in 1965. That explains a lot of why I do the way I am, I am, right? <laughs> Filters, what? <laughs> Kindness, huh? But, but the thing is, is that you all were children. So your metabolism issue started the day you were born. But I'd like to say that the world hasn't changed. Humans hasn't, haven't changed the number of toxins that they're dumping and injecting into our bodies has drastically gone up. And that's why we're the sickest country in the world. Is that bad or is that just good business? I'll let you be the judge. So what if obesity was a disease of toxicity? Well, are the chemicals making us fat? Science says yes. And again, when you think of these toxins, I want you to think of Superman, okay? What would happen if kryptonite got waved in Superman's face? What would he do? Come on, you guys know Superman is, right? He would, he would get sick. He would get weak, right? His metabolism would shut down, and he would shut down, and he would die because the kryptonite, right? So when I start throwing all these toxins and poisons at you, just think of it's kryptonite to you. It's kryptonite to your unborn child. It, <clears throat> It's kryptonite to your child, your infant. It's kryptonite to your teenager, why the attitude and things are so wacky. It's kryptonite to you. It's kryptonite to seniors, right? It's kryptonite. So just think of that. <clears throat> and again, the names, BPA, dioxin, atrazine, phthalates, perichlorates, fire retardants, organophosphates, pesticides, glycol ethers, PFCs, fluorophyll chemicals, PFCs, mercury, arse. Again, these are everywhere you go in what you breathe, what you put on your skin, what you eat, what you drink. You can't avoid them. The world's so toxic, they're everywhere. The only way that you can do it is stay away from the kryptonite, is learn how to protect yourself. And again, brain development in, in, in little babies, in pregnant mommies. 90% of pregnant US women have detectable levels of 62 chemicals in their bodies out of 163 screened, okay? And again, some people call them xenoestrogens. Again, where, where do they come from? Line of tin cans, plastics, fragrances, detergents, perfumes, shampoos, soaps, pesticides, herbicides, dry cleaning chemicals, bleached feminine hygiene. I'm like, what is that? Bleached feminine hygiene products? Yeah. And tobacco, dip, chewing tobacco, cigars, cigarettes. And again, what's the big deal? One day at a time, the more we use this, we absorb up to 60% of what we put on our skin. So when our metabolism gets out of whack, that's when our children can't learn and sit still because their hormones are out of whack. We can't get pregnant and our bodies can't work the way God designed them to work. We come out with birth defects. We have infertility issues, cancer, and skin allergies. And again, this is just what we do 24-7, 365. Our metabolism is always working. It's either making us weak or it's making us strong. Okay? So again, obsidogens, could hidden chemicals be making me fat? Well, here's the thing. These chemicals, these kryptonite, plays a trick on your mind, on your brain, right? Normal, the estrogen binding to receptor to send message to your cells is estrogen. Estrogen's there, it raises, it lowers. That's a whole other eight-hour workshop. We're not going to go there. But the toxin, the brain says, what is this? And the xenoestrogen acts, so the xenoestrogen binds to estrogen receptor sites, knocking off the natural process to make you green grass strong, 
and now cranks up the furnace to make you the room way too hot or the room way too cold. And it can't, no matter what kind of wood you put in, because there's toxins in that wood, the furnace burns way too hot or way too low and never the right temperature and it doesn't shut down. And that's what makes us sick and tired and unhealthy and all those, it gives us a, basically a weak metabolism or very weak metabolism. And so the obsinogens, what it does genetically to our genes or to our fat cells, genetically, it changes our fat cells. These toxins, this kryptonite, genetically makes changes in our body <clears throat> and makes our fat cells either multiply or makes them larger. Okay, more fat cells or larger fat cells. And then it makes us obese if we're an animal or a human. Now, I just have to say this to get it off my chest. Many years ago, and you'll see, wow, when we feed this toxin, this chemical to an animal, it makes them fat and sick. Well, that's really cool because we have a business over here that makes medicine for animals that are fat and sick. Nice, good business. But then when we feed the animals to the humans that just, and they eat the animals that have these toxins, now they get fat and sick. We've got medicine for them too. Hey, are we evil? No, that's just good business. So obsidogens are in your pesticides, dirty dozen of tap water, found in canned foods, medical devices, and cash register receipts, uh, nonstick cookware, like uh, microwave on popcorn bags, carpeting, clothing, backpacks, luggage, water. Phthalates are plastic vinyl toys, wall paint, air fresheners, beauty bath care products. Soy, again, in, li in livestock. MSG is in your food. Uh, TBT, little T, vinyl pesticide, fungicide, bactericide. Again, it's everywhere. Artificial sweeteners make us fat and sick. Antibiotics, okay. And then PCBs, found in fish, meat, and dairy. So it's everywhere. It's everywhere. The goal is not to hide under a rock. The goal is to get so strong that this doesn't bother us. Because again, obesity is a compound metabolism, weak metabolism, very weak metabolism. And again, what really makes me mad is that this is now, they found in 2004, 287 chemical substances that were found in umbilical cords of newborn babies. What's the big deal? Doctor, why did my baby die of cancer? Doctor, why do I have cancer? Why did this person who doesn't, who works out, who exercises, who never smokes get lung cancer. Well, here's the thing. In these newborn babies, they, in the umbilical cords, they found, eight, they found 287 chemicals. 180 of them caused cancer in humans or animals. 217 are toxic to the brain and nerve system. 208 caused birth defects and abnormal development in animal tests. You want to know why we're flunking test scores? You want to know why we're the sickest country in the world? It's because we're being poisoned to death day one. And again, it's not, we're not going to get them to change. It's up for us to get strong and begin taking it one day at a time. Again, 168 baby foods tested, 95% lead, 75% cadmium, 73% arsenic, mercury. Again, baby food, baby food. And a lot of it was organic baby food you think you're being safe from with all the cool stickers on it and everything. So we, we survive. The toxicity on salt, we survive the stress on salt, but when it's time for us to be born, whether it's breech or whether it's a uh, uh, cesarean, it's usually somebody takes our neck and twists us out, and that's another major kink in the hose. So if you're 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years old, and you've never been to a chiropractor, you could be doing everything perfectly, but the stress on your nervous system has caused you to have a weak metabolism or a very weak metabolism. It does matter. It does matter. So, and then here's not to make things worse, but I will. Now you have these forever chemicals that stay in our bodies forever. They call them PFAs, stain resistant products, fast food packaging, nonstick cookware, paints, pesticides, shampoo, photography ish things, firefighting foams, fire. Again, with their in the environment, they don't go away. They don't biodegrade. They make our metabolism weak and very weak. And again, like I said, is this new? <laughs> 1956, Stanford University finds PFAS is binding to proteins in human blood. Well, let's stop it. Let's stop making it. No, man, it's good business. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. 1965, DuPont rat study shows that liver damage, again, that's why I gave you the liver 
product. 1978, 3M, PFSO, again, they're there. 1989, again, they're there. These have been around 50 years of, of making our metabolisms weak from the day we're born until the day we go to heaven. And again, mercury in the fish, just remember for this, the smaller the fish you eat, the less toxic they are. Try to get fish that are caught in cold waters. Don't get farm fish, not your friend, O bueno. And again, if you have these in your mouth, this is the last thing you want to do, but eventually you're going to want to get them taken out. And when you're ready, let me know. I'll find you the right dentist. We'll have you the right protocol, and we'll get this detox from you. It's, it's because they're harmful. They make your metabolism weak and very weak. And again, let's talk about mercury for a second, okay? You can't see this, but this little yellow dot is basically how much mercury is in, I um, can't remember, but it's not much, okay? Now, this is much typically in a mercury level in tuna, okay? This is the highest level detected by natural, okay, in a white fish. This is how much mercury is in a flu shot. And they want you to get every at one every year. And they said 10 years in a row of flu shot, your chance of getting Alzheimer's is incredible. Why? Because Alzheimer's is a toxic issue. So again, again, this is your body can deal with this. It can't deal with this on a consistent basis. The buckets get over, the buckets overflow, your metabolism wax out, and you don't know who you are, what your name or your family is anymore. Because the insulin goes to your brain, you have type 3 diabetes, which is the same as. Um, Alzheimer's. Man, I'm really fired up today, aren't I? You feel like I'm yelling at you? No. I feel like I am because I got these dang things in my ears and I'm like trying to get, I, I can you hear me? <laughs> and again, 1962, three shots, three vaccines. So you had a three shot toxic load on your body. Okay. 1983 went from five to 24. In, in 2018, like, all of a sudden, the children got so sick that they needed an additional 72 doses total. Again, if you inject it into your little fishy's fishbowl, what's going to happen to your fishy? Welcome to a weak, for today's purposes, a weak or a very weak metabolism. You're just trying to do what the doctors say, right? You have to start saying no, folks. It's not worth it. And again, I use this slide on purpose because the window of opportunity to really save our future is age zero to 25 because the brain is neuroplastic. That's a fancy word. The brain is growing neuroplasticity wise. Okay. Epigenetics says you can change your genes. If you got bad genes, make yourself strong and your good genes will turn on and your bad genes will shut off. So you're not doomed to have this metabolism. But the reason why I want every child in this city or with the shouting of my voice in this office, because they're, we can create a healthy society if we can start getting the babies and the infants and the children and the teenagers adjusted and de-stressed and prayed for and get them strong and on purpose, because now we can change the world by making them healthy and strong. And again, acetaminophen. Well, what the heck? I can get that at Walgreens, right? I can take it whenever I have a headache, right? No, it has the same toxic effects as all the other stuff we just talked about. So acetaminophen is kryptonite, okay? Well, it killed my pain. Yeah, I had to kill part of you to kill the pain, right? So again, this is our food today. We have to know better and avoid it. I call it Franken food. Again, we all know what formula is, right? For babies. But then what's a Big Mac at McDonald's formula? What's a Red Bull formula? Oh, it tastes like something and you can swallow it and it goes in your tummy, but it's not food. It makes the metabolism go out of whack. And so again, remember, you're not just what you eat, you are what they ate. So you have to eat clean animals. Animals raised the way God intended them to be raised. Or if they're hunted, they're processed, they're grass-fed and grass-finished. Because again, they, eating this chicken, depending on how it was raised, can make my metabolism weak or it can make it strong. Again, dirty food versus clean food. Again, dirty food, read the ingredients, know how it's made can have a weak effect on your metabolism. Clean, clean food will have a strong effect on your metabolism, one bite at a time, one day at a time. And again, if your life, your day is focused on being strong, I'm not saying you never can have pizza again. I'm just saying that you have your once in a while eating and you have your all the time eating. And you gotta know which one's gonna make, make the all the time eating make you strong and help your metabolism 
and then have your once in a while eating because you're strong, you can adapt and change. You can heal, you can overcome that. But then you find healthy ways to make your favorite foods and then you're never making yourself weak. You're always making yourself strong one bite at a time. And again, 30 infant formulas contain high levels of aluminum. It's everywhere. We have to be on guard. And again, the sad American diet is high in fat, sugar, and ultra process. Again, this is not food. This is formula for adults. It's not food. Now, could I go home and get grass-fed beef and make up our own buns and have an organic version of this? Yeah, that's what we do. And I feel strong. I feel so much better. And again, what kind of foods make our metabolism weak? Well, first of all, any kind of salad dressings that aren't organic made, grain-fed meats and fast food, soda pop. I knew a guy, he just gave up drinking Coca-Cola and he lost 50 pounds. Why? Because he made his metabolism strong again. Deep fried foods, processed foods, packaged foods, refined grains, whole grains, grain flour, again, bread, you know, that's not sprouted. That makes your metabolism weak. And the more you eat of it, then it becomes very weak. It's kryptonite. It's kryptonite. And again, what foods can trigger anxiety? Artificial flavors, pink pack, blue pack, yellow pack in your coffee, whatever. Crappuccinos. Too much caffeine in your crappuccinos. Conventional meats that are not organically made. Breads that aren't organically made. Sugar and processed foods. Processed vegetable oils. Chips. Again, that can trigger the stress. Your brain gets freaked out and you get freaked out. You have anxiety. And again, sugar. Sugar attacks. It's kryptonite to your heart, kidneys, joints, especially man-made sugar, okay? Genitals, skin, and brain. Again, it's kryptonite, man. It's kryptonite to yourself. And then what's even worse than that is man figure out a way to put chemicals in something and say, oh, there's no sugar. It's sweet, but it's an artificial sugar, which is even more toxic to your brain. And somehow we allow it. You know, there's some chemicals that they don't allow in Europe. They allow in America, like no big deal, right? That's a whole nother deep dive talk. And so again, diet soda has chemicals in it that when you drink it, makes your teeth rot, destroys your brain cells, increases your risk of cancer, increases your risk of heart attack and stroke, cause you to gain weight and obesity. Why? Because there's kryptonite in this can. Well, why do they sell it? Because we'll buy it. It's really good business. It's the chemicals in here that attack your metabolism and make you weak and very sick and not happy. But then you gotta read ingredients, right? Sweet potatoes, right? Canola oil, again, kryptonite. Natural cane sugar, eh. cornstarch, rice flour, tapioca starch, tapioca dextrin. Dextrin is another word for um, sugar. So kryptonite, natural flavor, that usually means MSG. Who knows what that means? It's natural, that's okay, right? No. Xanthan gum. So again, be careful. Now watch this. If you buy Rice Krispies in America, it's got BTH in it. If you buy Rice Krispies in United Kingdom, you can pronounce the ingredients in this one. Mountain Dew, right? All these ingredients you can't pronounce. But if you buy it in, in the United Kingdom, there's things you can actually pronounce. So these are going to, why is America the sickest country in the world? Because we allow them to put chemicals because again, good business, good business. And then French fries in the US have all this kryptonite in it, right? And in the UK, not as much kryptonite, okay? So you get my point here? There's something going on here, folks, something going on. Make your own French fries at home, right? And again, ladies, I'm sorry, men, I'm sorry. Alcohol is just not your friend, it's not your friend. And I'm not even saying it for drinking purposes. Again, once in a while, maybe. But it has a drain on your metabolism. All my buddies who like to have a little sip once in a while, then they put that whoop watch on their wrist. The whoop, you have a whoop, don't you have a whoop? Yeah. I just had one. And it took me three days to recover from just that one drink. And they all are like, man, because you don't feel it because it's silent. It silently hurts you. Again, I'm not talking about all the other things alcoholism causes. I'm just saying to justify, because I think the winemaker said, oh, one glass of wine a day is good for my blood. It thins my blood. Yeah, I think the people who made alcohol came up with that lie. 
I'm just saying when it comes to metabolism for this purposes, again, once in a while, go. I'm not, but I'm saying consistently, it's going to hurt your metabolism. It will make you stressed out, unstable. It could make you gain weight, right? Or sick or grow cancer cells, deplete your nutrition, just not your friend. And again, my wife likes this. This um, we, we saw this because I talk about this all the time. It says in the US, we have a candy holiday followed by a pie holiday. Next, a cookies and candy holiday before a boozer holiday. And we call it flu season rather than sugar poisoning season. Right? Oh, I gained some holiday weight. Excuse me. The holidays is Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Day, maybe. It's a holiday, three, not holiday months, right? But yet we get we get suckered into that. Now, some of you are thinking, don't read this yet. <laughs> Dr. Cho, be real. Come on. You're sounding like a crazy, whacked out guy. This is way too much. I like the way God made me round and plumpy like Moto Moto. <laughs> Anybody Moto Moto fans? Come on. I'm round. I'm chunky. Plumpy. You got to watch it. We watched that the other day. So I come downstairs now. I'm round. I'm chunky. You know, and he's like, don't say a word to me. I'm like, I say nothing to you. So let's say I get all these really cool Instagram people to start promoting these real new organic, br organic brownies. I'm paying LeBron James and whoever else influencers, right? To buy this stuff because it's really good for you, man. Look like me, be strong. And you start eating the brownies, you go, wow, it's really good, really good. And you never once check the ingredients because they say to do it, we just fall like robots and we do it, right? But then you bring it to me, I'm like, well, let me see what's in this thing, why it's so good. Well, organic cocoa, organic almond flour, melted organic butter, Organic sugar, a pinch of organic salt, organic pecans, four organic eggs, organic vanilla. Oh, and just a pinch of dog poop. A pinch of dog poop. Now, in my weeks of study, and never once did I say, did I read anything that says dog poop gives you cancer? Not once does dog poop cause learning disabilities or autism. Not once does dog poop whack out your metab metabolic power and make you gain weight. It's just really gross, but it's really not toxic to the body per se, you follow me. But how many of you would want a bite of these brownies, right? But we have no problem, no one in this room, going down to 7-Eleven and sucking down Krispy Kremes and a Mountain Dew and thinking it's just fine. You call my brownies gross, but yet every day in America, we give our babies formula. We give these kids lunch food that is crap. We inject ourselves with all kinds of toxins, and we can't figure out what well, we can't even make a sentence. We can't stay together. We can't live. Our spirits, our souls, our bodies are trashed, and we want to cry. Why? And yet, you don't want to, you, you hypocrites, you don't eat my dog poop brownies? Shame on you. So, endocrine disruptors. Again, what are they? Chemicals that mimic hormones that alter your body system. Hormones should make you strong and healthy, strong metabolism. Toxins mimic these hormones and they make you fat, they make you unhappy, they make you sick, weak metabolism. Where are they? They're found in everyday household products. What a genius plan the devil makes up. What a genius plan. How do they affect our health? Several studies have found associate. Watch it, you're gonna love this picture. <laughs> Several studies have found associations with cancer, obesity, infertility, diabetes, and asthma, right? 1.00 chemicals, substances with disruptive capacity have been identified. Large population studies have found them in biological samples from 95% participants. But there's no cause for alarm. Just go about living your daily life. Don't pay attention to any of this stuff. No, it says maintain a healthy lifestyle. That's really cool because that's what I want to finish this up with. So what's the solution? You have the power to make your weak metabolism strong. Everybody put your hand over your heart and say, I have the power. I have the power. It's up to me if it has to be. Okay.
So again, don't forget, Earth is a war zone. I just explained that to you. Question everything. It's up to you to save yourself. John 10, 10 says the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. How? To create everything God made and make it sick, tired, and toxic. But Jesus came to get life, life more abundantly, which means our spirit can be strong, our minds can be strong, our bodies can be strong, one day at a time, though. One day at a time. Well, how do we pull that off? Now I'm going to show you. Because here's the thing. There's really only one way to rock. <laughs> Sorry. There's only one way to rock, right? There's only one way to the top if you want to rock and roll. And my whole point of this, again, don't get mad at me if this is you I'm talking to, but these 30-day challenges or these 14-day resets or even these 70-day resets are fine, but then what comes next? Most people I know have seen gain all the weight back and they stop. Oh, yeah, I did that one time. I ran a marathon one time. I ran a 5K one time. I lost 100 pounds one time. Well, then life went on, and guess what? Because we live in a world that makes you weak by default, they put their guard down, and they gained not the same amount, but even more weight back. Am I, am I just squawking? Is there anyone I'm talking about? Yeah. Can I get an amen? So, and statistically, 95% of all fad diets fail. So, I want to give you the truth. Everybody say truth. I've been on this world. Again, I was born in 1965. If, if I don't tell the truth, then, then, then lightning hits me and my wife kicks me, right? And I, and I have a role to play. And so I don't know about you, but my life is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Amen? Okay. So with that then, welcome to Strong 365 for your metabolism because life is 24-7. 365. <clears throat> and we want to we do things to make ourselves strong within our stress, in our exercise, in our food, in our detoxing, in our spine power. And if we spend each day, each week, each year working on this, then we don't get kryptonite and we don't have to run to the medicine doctor for anything because we're healthy and strong. We're strong. We don't need them because we're strong. Not because we don't like them, but we're strong. And again, getting strong means your bucket begins to empty and you get back to being healthy, living at peace within the environment in which you are. And I got, for me personally, I don't look at my scale. I don't look at my body fat. I don't look at um, my BMI because I'm muscular, like it or not, okay? <laughs> I'm muscular. So my BMI says I'm obese. And my wife, she's like, no, you're not, sweetie. You're just like Adonis. You're great. I like, no. But here's the issue. If you want to know whether you need, you're need you strong or not, here's the latest thing that I really like. Take your height in inches and then measure your waist. And your waist should be half or less in inches than your height. So you measure your height and your waist should be half or less. And if you have that, then you are considered to have a strong metabolism. Okay, you can't just much use the hip weight wrist issue because it's not fair for women as men as they grow up. So another thing too is, what is your waist to hip ratios? And again, this is why I don't like this because you can be a pear, an avocado, or an apple. My wife is the best all three of those. She's just a sexy, fine mama, as I'm saying. But what I like better is the height to waist ratio. So Dr. Joe Math, Dr. Joe is 71 inches tall. Doctor's current waist measurement is 36 inches. Doesn't matter how I look and feel. Statistically, I am over. So I need to get strong and use this own program to get my waist down to at least 35. I'd like 34, but we'll take 35.5. It should be 36 or less, or actually, sorry, 35.5, because my height is 71. So you can go home and do the math yourself. But that's Dr. Joe math, okay? And that's so I'm doing what I'm talking about right now, so might get my waist down to where it needs to be. So if you want to know if your life is weak or strong, this is a free life risk questionnaire that you can take. The way you take this, you pull out your camera and point it at this thing. If you stare at it long enough, you will see Jesus <laughs> or a bunny rabbit. I don't know which one. But this is a QR code to look at the five areas of your life that may be lacking in making you weak, your peace, your power, 
your strength, your fuel, or your protection, your toxicity. And it's free. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Next slide. So now peace is one of the things we have to have for our metabolism. That means that we're grateful that we keep a journal of three things that we're thankful for. We tell someone in our life each day that we appreciate them every day. We silence negative. We make an effort to not complain. Do all things about crumbling and complaining. Right? Just zip it up. Zip it up. Zip it up. Now, in the world, I really don't think we need more knowledge. What I'd like you to do is, if you don't have it already, is download this Bible app. There's this book called Proverbs. There's 31 Proverbs, one for each day. Just read one proverb a day. Because I want you to grow in wisdom, not knowledge. Knowledge puffs up. I want you growing in wisdom. How to apply today to your life. I like it back in the day when God asked Solomon, what do you want? And Solomon says, well, I want to say a boat, a car, and a new house. But I'm going to say wisdom. And God said, wise choice. Now I'm going to give you everything because you asked for wisdom. Every day we pray. More wisdom and understanding to help more people. More wisdom and understanding. That's all I ask for. So this will take you to the Bible app because I want you all gaining more wisdom one day at a time. One day at a time, getting stronger. A wise person gets their metabolism stronger because they can start making wise choices. Not, I, just, I know way too much what to do, but not doing anything. I procrastinate. No, I want you reading one a day. And again, if you don't, is God going to strike you down? No. No, but you, you, you miss out on an opportunity to do one thing that takes a few minutes to make yourself stronger for tomorrow and to help your metabolism go strong as well. Power. Everybody say power. If I had my way, the day you're born, you come see me. And you see me once a week. And I would adjust you, make sure you're pooping, make sure you're not putting toxins in the body, right? I would be shepherding you one day a week, one, one day a week. So by age 50, I'm sorry, by age one, I've already seen you 50 times to navigate you through the trauma, the toxins, and the stinking thinking that your parents have to go through with you. By age 10, I've helped coach you and shepherd you over 500 times. By age 20, 1,000. By age 30, 1,500. By age 40, 2,000. By age 50, 2,500. By age 60, 3,000. By age 70, 3,500. So think about that. If I just saw you, and I have, I have one person for the last 30 years I've seen once a week, and he's a whole lot healthier, a whole lot stronger, and a whole less toxic than all his other friends. And all he's did is march his butt in here once a week for 30 years, and he's strong. So I've seen it firsthand. But imagine that. So let me ask you, why is it your children, why aren't your children in here? Why aren't your grandchildren? Whatever it is, let's have that conversation and let's remove that roadblock because it's hurting them. It's not hurting me. It's hurting them, but not being in here, getting adjusted. Because here's the proof. And again, we're not perfect. We've had our challenges. We've had our poop shows. But because every day we're committed to being strong, man, we've weathered the storms amazingly. So my cry or my pleading is not for the adults. It's for the children to be in here getting adjusted. Let me help them detox and get strong, 365. If the adults want to come, fine, come. They did surveys of 200 chiropractic families and 200 pediatric families, 200 chiropractors, 200 medical doctors. Which families were healthier? They said the children raised under chiropractic care are less prone to infectious processes. Their immune systems are better able to cope with allergies. Such a, They were better. They were healthier because they're following what we do. You have a choice. Keep listening to whoever you've been listening to that caused your weak metabolism or very weak metabolism, or start listening to me and let's march this thing together and get you strong again. Because again, just one nerve being pinched can cause you grumpy and stressed out and bad metabolism, that's called cortisol. But one adjustment and doing the home exercises can free up that C1 nerve and release the serotonin which now makes your metabolism strong. Again, when you get adjusted, you take care of your nerve system, you get your power turned on, your immunity, your digestion, your mobility, your aches and pains, your energy, your posture, your sleep get better because your metabolism is all getting stronger, not weaker. And this is how I want you to be. 
They've done research on twins. One twin got the vaccine and had a horrible reaction. The same twin brother got the vaccine and had no reaction. What was the difference? It was their spine and nerve system. The, ch the child that had a bad reaction had a crooked spine from birth trauma. The child who had no reaction, right? Same vaccine, had better posture, had a, no crooked, not, their spine wasn't as crooked. Just to say it that way. So that's the process. That's the determining factor. And again, if you want to be a patient of mine, this is where we start the Strong 365. You're going to get over $500 worth of care for only $199. Take that picture there. Or that basically means you get an exam, you get x-rays, you get three adjustments to kickstart things. You get a time to go over everything with me. And again, and at, the, at the end of this, you thought it was a waste of time, I'll give you your 199 back. Okay? I'm serious about this. And this can be for you or your baby or your child. And again, because it's our 30th year, I wanted to give back to my patients who have loved us so much. So much you've loved us. And so if you refer a friend in and they say Carla sent me in or Patty sent me in or, 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 or uh, Donna sent me in, then I'm going to give you $30 in Dr. Joe bucks like that. So you send me somebody, they come in and go through the new patient process. I'm going to give you the $30 Dr. Joe buck and you can apply that towards your vitamins or your monthly membership care plan. You know, whatever you're paying, knock 30 bucks off. So that's my gift to you for 30 years of fun healing. And again, if you want to become a new patient, just click that thing and there you go. Now fuel, everybody say fuel. We want foods to boost your metabolism and make you a strong 365. Every meal, every bite is making you strong, not weak. And sometimes, like for me, I have to put safeguards in my life to protect me from me. So I do intermittent fasting because I usually, when I was a wrestler and I lost a lot of weight and I starved myself, I actually felt really good. So for the last year now, I've been doing what's called intermittent fasting, right? Now that can be different. Don't freak out. Don't shut me off. But even Plato himself, right? I fast for greater physical and mental efficiency. And so the benefits are, it makes your metabolism strong. It helps you heal your gut. It reduces pain inflammation, it improves hormone sensitivity. It increases growth hormone and you become a fat burner. All this to say that you go from a full bucket of weak metabolism to a healthy bucket of strong metabolism. Now, you can do a 12 hour fast, 14 hours, 16 hours. You can cycle it. For me, basically, I stop eating at nine o'clock at night. And I don't eat again until one o'clock in the afternoon. And I live a full day. I thought I'd get weak. I get up in the morning, I make coffee, I put heavy cream in it. Fat is the indicator. If you put any kind of juice in it, you eat a kind of carbohydrate, you blow the fasting benefit of health. Okay. And again, this is a whole nother 10 hour workshop. I just wanted to, I want to talk about intermittent fasting because everybody's like, what about this? Like, I do it. So before one o'clock, I have two cups of coffee. I have my heavy cream, usually five ish teaspoons. And then the piece of resistance is my salt water. Let me tell you, if you've ever had too much coffee and your brain's like, ah, I put a quarter teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt, along with my minerals, but it's really a sea salt. I put it in my jar, which is a 32 out my memory, coconut oil jar. And I sip that and it's like my brain just goes, Woo, thank you for the salt. So the minerals help. I don't have any of the withdrawal and I don't get hungry. And at one o'clock, I break my fast now because it changes. My wood constantly changes. I break it with nuts, almonds, ca not almonds, cashews, uh, walnuts, um, usually that. And then I'll have a nutrition drink. I'll make up some egg whites with some Parmesan cheese. And then I come home and I have dinner. What do I wait for dinner? Whatever I want to eat. I've just spent 16 hours fasting. I built up my metabolism to where it's strong. So like, bring whatever you want. Homemade brownies, homemade meat, homemade whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't have to mentally battle food anymore because I already know. Okay, I'm not going to eat from nine to one. I got my coffee. I don't feel withdrawal, and I'm working out hard. I work here. I watch myself if I get into zombie mode, right? But that's intermittent fasting. And again, you can just simply say, okay, my last meal is at seven. My next meal is at seven a.m. Seven. You can do just a twelve minute seven. 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. or 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. or 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. or 8, you know my point. That's just a simple way to start, okay? 
But protein is really what we're lacking. You should start off with one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Okay, so I'm 195 pounds. My body requires for a good metabolism, 195 calories. Now you can go to my fitness pal, plug it in, add it up. That's a whole other workshop in itself. Okay, that actually I have somewhere back in 2017. But you want one gram of protein, because ladies and gentlemen, if you're if the reason why <clears throat> it's not your um, metabolism that has changed from age 20 to 60, it's the fact that you're not building strength, lifting weights, and you're not eating protein. So your metabolism begins to implode because of that. It's starving. As you start eating more fat, more protein, your body starts burning more fat. As you start working your muscles and making them strong, your body burns more fat and you stay balanced. And again, grass fed, you aren't what you eat, you are what you eat ate. We don't want to get eat toxic food. And again, top proteins, again, stabilize your blood sugar levels, promote positive mood. That's why anxiety, you can literally eat protein and make your mood better. Slows the aging process, improves bone density, improves, again, why is everybody getting osteoporotic and all that? Because you're not eating the protein, clean protein. Improves fat burning, stabilizes blood sugar levels, stimulates muscle building, improves learning and memory. You need protein. And again, what should you be putting on your plate? Mineral rich food, sea vegetables, wild caught fish, fermented foods, green leafy veggies, avocados, pasture raised eggs, pink salts, bone broth or vegetable broth, mostly bone broth, grass fed butter and ghee, grass fed meats. Again, when I come home, I try to fill up on this as much as I want because I put in a safeguard called intermittent fasting. I put in a morning of working out. I'm getting adjusted. I'm making myself strong so I can pretty much do what I want within the boundaries. And again, these are anti-inflammatory foods that can basically help your body feel strong as well. And again, shopping is important because if it doesn't make its way, if the toxins don't make their way into your cart, then they're not going to make their way into your kitchen. So be aware of what you're shopping and what are you putting in your cart. Make sure you go grocery shopping full and strong and happy <laughs> so you don't start binge shopping, right? How those Doritos get in there? I have no idea. I had ice cream that night. How did it get into your house? Oh, my husband bought it. Oh, okay. Yeah, good one. And again, if you're on a ketogenic diet, I'm not anti-ketogenic. I'm just not a good fat metabolizer. So what ketogenic is, is just messing with your macros each day, your fats, your carbohydrates, your um, proteins. And again, you're really low on the carbohydrates. You're high in the fat and protein, which turns your body into an insulin burner. And that's good for some people for, for, for a season. So it has lots of good effects. You're just eating clean. And that's the good thing about it. So again, let your nutrition make you strong. Burn fat, detoxify, reduce inflammation, balance hormones one day at a time. If you need recipes, take a picture of this. All the recipes you need to make you 365 strong. You're welcome. There's smoothies there. There's all kinds of goodies, all kinds of things as we wrap this up. You got it? If, you're, if you don't get this now, Text me or message me. I'll give it to you later. I'll send it to you later. Don't worry, okay? Are we all good? I got a few more goodies, so get your phones ready. Okay. You're going to say thank you later. Now, if you're like, well, what are macros? What do I need? I've partnered up for this talk with our friend um, Marcus. Boy, I left his shirt on because I don't want you ladies drooling. Even sometimes I drool. I got a little man crush on him. But what this is, is you, is you will go to this site. So take a picture of that. And it's a macro calculator. Like how much protein do you should your body have? How much fat should your body have? How much carbohydrate should your body have to make your metabolism strong? You punch in the numbers, you tell him a little about yourself and he'll send you a full report. It's free. I asked permission, he says, yeah, go ahead and do it. And if you're ever looking for additional coaching for working out or for nutrition, I like this guy. He's got lots of videos, he's got good coaching. But again, this is just free. Again, fill out, the, fill out the fields and get your macro prescription. Because if you follow the macros, it's like following a budget on, on, on your finances. So we all good there? Okay. So now strong. Everybody say strong. Basically, you have two types of workouts. Zone two to burn fat. Zone four to build muscle. Okay. Dr. Joe's math. Dr. Joe is 57 years old. His max heart rate is 163. I, the reason why my... I have love handles. 
is because I never did zone two training. Going for a walk for an hour, who needs that? I do. If zone two training is the trunk of the tree, zone four training is the fruit. So when I go for my 60 minute walks or 45 minutes with my wife with my 20 or 40 pound vest on, because I'm a guy, I guess I gotta do it that way. I'm, my heart rate only gets to 60, 70%. So because of that, especially with nasal breathing, everybody breathe into your nose, that's the secret. How do you know you're in zone two? You're walking and you can breathe through your nose. The minute you have to breathe through your mouth, you've now jumped into zone three and you're losing your fat burning ability. My wife hates it because we're walking. She's talking. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to sacrifice my fat burning ability. So I used to talk to my wife while we're walking. And so you can do that two or three days a week, okay, or more, but it's fat burning. If you really want to make your metabolism strong, you need to get strong. So now you can do the Dr. Joe workouts, 10 to 15 minutes strength building zone four, which is basically 80, 90% of your max heart rate. So for me, when I'm nasal breathing and walking, I can count my pulse for 10 seconds. I want it to be somewhere around 16 to 19 beats. That's what that means. When I want to be in zone four, how do I know I'm in zone four? Well, on a scale of one to 10, I can say, oh, this is an eight or a nine. Or I can check my heart rate and it's for 10 seconds, it's 22 to 25 beats. Okay, that's how I do it. You can have your watches and stuff like that, but that just, this is just simple, basic stuff. Okay, but I'll try to do this while I do it more. I do probably do it five days a week or six, but that's just me. But I'm saying that if you'll incorporate this two or three days a week, incorporate this two or three days a week, not just all of this or all of this only, do you really want to make your metabolism strong? You're going to begin to blend a little bit of both in each time. Cool beans? Okay. So more muscle plus less fat, stronger metabolism burn. Zone two and zone four is your friend. Talk more about that later. And you can always come on Saturdays and work out for a zone four workout. <laughs> That's what we do every every Saturday 30 is a zone four workout. Okay. And again, building strength, right? Improves your body composition, your blood, your immune system, makes you strong, makes your cells healthy, makes everything better for you, right? And again, dudes, we want to boost this testosterone. So build strength. You can do squats for more testosterone. You can do deadlifts for more testosterone. You can do those Saturday morning workouts with us, zone four for more testosterone. No, you have no weights. Fine, sprint, run sprints. You know, run ten or fifteen sprints, short distances. Give yourself a break. That'll build testosterone. So you can, again, as you build your metabolism back up, you're building your testosterone back up. And again, when you do this, all your fat burning hormones begin to kick in. With your in zone two, zone four, you're getting strong in your mind. You're getting wise. You're getting your spine power turned back on. You're getting your food in alignment. You're getting your body strong. And again, that turns on your fat burning hormones. So Dr. Joe can go from a 37 inch waist to a 35 inch waist. And again, remember the obsinogens, the things that are making your cells fatter or giving you more fat cells. The cool news is that when you're in zone two, zone four training, you're undoing the epigenetic negative effects that that stuff had on you. So you're detoxing yourself by exercising. Again, metabolic disease. Again, you're making everything stronger again. And again, sometimes movement's just fine. Movement's just fine. We talked about this with Eileen. What do you do when you're not exercising? Are you just vegging on the couch? You're not burning very many calories versus not saying you have to always be a busy body, but just look at your job and know, am I sitting all day? Do you need to move? Just move. Just move more. And you got to sleep. Sleep is your greatest tool for recovery. Okay? It's got to be dark. You got to sleep. Take the naps. I'll give you a doctor's note. It's a great way to lose weight, strengthen your material. Sometimes some of you are doing everything perfectly, but you're not sleeping enough. So you're not recovering, and it makes your metabolism weak. Ask any nurse that works midnights. She'll tell you. He'll tell you. Okay? And again, if you want our 30-day zone four workouts, they're right here on YouTube. 30 days of zone four workouts right there just for you. Early Merry Christmas present. Great Christmas present to text to your friends, okay? So no excuses not to have a strong metabolism. And then protect. Everybody say protect. As we wrap this up, again, it's 24-7, right? Again, stop your weakness by minimizing your endocrine disruptors. They're a kryptonite, right? 
Stop your weakness by minimizing. Don't put dog poop anymore in your in your food. Absinogens or kryptonite. Stop it. Get away from them. Get them out of your house. Shoo. That's why Diane is here. She can show you what to clean with and what to do to make your house clean again. And again, what can you do? Well, first of all, buy and serve more fresh or frozen fruits and vegetables and fewer processed meats, especially during pregnancy. Since heat can cause plastics to leak, leak kryptonite into food, avoid microwaving food or beverages in plastic containers. Wash plastics by hand rather than putting them in a dishwasher. <laughs> Use more glass and stainless steel instead of plastic. Avoid plastics with the number three, six, and seven on them. Wash hands thoroughly before and after touching food and clean all fruits and vegetables as well because that's where they're hiding. Get the kryptonite away from you. Yep. Yes, sir. Three, six, and seven. On the bottom, you'll see the number three, six, and seven. Thanks for clarifying that, sir. Thank you very much. Cut back on all canned foods and beverages in general. Cut back on fast food and processed foods. Read labels. Watch for the dog poop. <laughs> Get to know what's in the products you use. Look for lotion, soaps, and other products that are made naturally. Look for fragrance-free. Consider making your own home cleaning products. You'll see Diana. Now, are you going to accomplish all this in a week? No. Ergo, 365. It may take you a year or two, but every day you're making a stronger metabolism and you're no longer getting weaker. Again, the idea is not to get paranoid, although I can understand that. The idea is to get informed and make some simple changes that can go a long way towards keeping children and their families healthier. And again, life is what? 24-7, 365. So this is an app that everybody in my family had except me. They didn't tell me they had it. Oh, yeah, Yaka, I know what that is. So let's say you're at the store. You don't know if something's good for you or bad for you, if it's your friend, not your friend. Weak metabolism, strong metabolism. You can get this Yucca app, and it'll tell you whether it's Yucca or not. Are we doing good? I know I'm going over a little bit, but are we doing good? Okay, good. So Yucca, 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 we wrap this up. Everybody got it? Is it showing up? Okay. Okay. Let me, you got it, Denise? All right, good. So how much water should I be drinking, Dr. Joe, to, 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 to detox? Well, first of all, make sure it's clean water. But about half your body weight in ounces of water each day. I'm not, again, some of these challenges want you to drinking a gallon or two a day. I'm One of these a day is fine for me. You want to stay hydrated. You don't want to burn your kidneys out, right? You don't want to overdo it. So let's wrap this up. Where do you see yourself? What do you see for yourself? What do you want to be? Me, I'm 57 years old. I'll be 60 someday, I hope. For me, every decision today is to make the 60-year-old me very happy and strong that I did. B-A, you know, B-A means. My wife and I have four amazing children. None of them are married. We have no grandkids, which means we got a lot of living left to do, hopefully. So we, need, we have to stay strong. We do. We have to because we want to enjoy it. We want to be, I don't know, 120 years, the Bible says, but well, I, well, at, least, at least next 40 years, I want to do a lot of living, but I got to be strong. I can't count on them to make me weak. I got to be strong here and be smarter. So where do you want to be at tomorrow, next week, next month, three months, six months, 12 months, three years, five, 10 years? It starts tomorrow. You got 24 hours. I'm showing you right now your peace, your power, your fuel, your strength and how to protect it from the kryptonite, you can make each day stronger, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So let's wrap this up. How to create the life that you want in one year. Again, this was so cool. I'm just researching, and God just keeps throwing stuff at me that's just confirming what he wants me to talk about. And then this shows, I'm like, yeah, exactly. So the first one is do a life audit. Go home this weekend and talk. And say, okay, where do we want to be at next year in our health, our finances, personal development, our career, our relationships, our self-care, home life, and free time? If you don't plan this out, someone's going to plan it for you. If you don't make it strong, someone's going to make it weak. It's just how it works. John 10, 10 is for real. What changes would you make the biggest impact for each area of your life? For me right now, 
It's a 34 inch waist. <laughs> Make because because who I have to become and what do I have to do to get there. That's really what it's all about. It's not the not, it's not vanity. It's just a hey, my pants are little lemon and they're really expensive. I can't afford to have to go buy new ones. I don't want to, right? So there's there's some business stuff. Anyhow, make a mindset shift. Just decide right now on November 15th. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. So make a mind shift. Shift. Change your perspective from now at any time anything negative happens. Instead of feeling like a victim, ask yourself what can you control and change. Turn the phone off. Turn the TV off. Shut the whatever else off. Stop. Stop talking to that person. Be sick and tired of being sick and tired. Number three is create a vision. What do you want? What do you see? Visions are driven by passion and dreams that they are reflected through real efforts to create real results. It says here, you know, we much have a picture for our life, but just start doing something. Just start moving the right direction. Work on yourself daily. Again, 24-7, 365. You can have a bad morning, but a great evening. Okay? The whole day is not wasted if you have a bad morning. Bless you. But again, start working this back in this in. If I want to be there in five years, what do I have to do today? If I want to be there next month, what do I have to think and do today? Consistently practice how you want to make that happen for you. If you want, I, just, I, didn't, I didn't make this up. If you water the grass just each little bit each day, your garden always grows. Right there it is. Design your environment for success. You like how we decorated everything here? I divided my environment for success. If you want to change your life, you aren't the only thing that has to change. Your environment has to change too. For example, if you always hang out with negative, stinking friends, then you tend to believe the limitations they are setting for you. However, if you hang out with other doers and people who want to see you succeed, there's a much higher chance that you will. Number six, learn new skills, improve upon your existing ones. Nothing will change in your life faster than building new skills. Whatever the case, imagine a year where you will um, start having, start out without having limited skill, will have you more limited, more skill sets. Dedicate time during your day to your skills. Again, books, videos, workshops like this, podcasts like Nature Makes the Rules. And then number seven, enjoy the process, Dr. Joe. This is the one I forget the most. Are you having fun? Who cares? Are we, are we making time or not? Are we going to get there? Yeah, on time or early? Early. Okay, good. Who cares if we're having fun, right? The whole point of this exercise is the change. That means your thoughts and behaviors will change throughout the year. You may realize that you may, what you want initially, again, just get started. As you get going, you may realize, oh, I really don't want that. I want this over here. Okay, then fine. At least you're going in the right direction. Why? We don't want that. Okay, just, just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, right? Don't get so focused on the process that you lose sight of what you want, most importantly, to have fun. That's it. And so, again, we just talked about how to take your very weak, weak metabolism, make it strong. Or take your strong metabolism and keep it strong. It's called Strong 365. You got to guard your mind, your spirit. Read a proverb a day. You got to get your spine adjusted at least once a week. Everyone in your family. Okay. Babies, teenagers, everyone. I mean it, everyone. If they have a spine, they need to be adjusted. Then make sure you're eating food, moving that direction. Make sure you're moving your body to make it strong, zone two, zone four. And then make sure you're keeping the kryptonite out of your life one day at a time. Because that's what we do. We keep the shield up and we keep the poison away. Again, join our mission. Again, we've been here for 30 years. So much love, each and one of you, so much. From the bottom of my heart. And so this strong 365 is all about joining what I call the Spine Geek Army. My bat, my ball, my place. But again, we are committed to a life. Again, 30 years is nothing. I'm just now getting started. I feel like that was just all an introduction. We're really now, let's get going. So we're committed to living a life in alignment with God's promises and principles and his laws of nature. And the essentials to be strong 365. 